Okay, guys, here we go. So to update for the CSGO Bunny Hop uh, macro. This is specifically for uh, Valve and 64 tick servers, but if you want, you can try it in 128 tick servers as well. So in this video, I'm going to do things a little differently. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some clips and show you exactly what you should expect uh, from this macro. Uh, it's not perfect, uh, but this is the best setup I found after like 12 plus hours of testing like different delays. Uh, so you can take a look at these clips and if you like it, you can go ahead and continue watching the video and I'll show you how to import or make the macro. Uh, if not, like you can just close it right now. I wouldn't want to waste your time. So you need to understand, first of all, that this macro right now is not going to be perfect. And that's what CSGO is trying to do there. They don't want everyone just bunny hopping around infinitely. So you guys need to understand, like if you're a beginner at bee hopping, this macro is not something that you can just put on your mouse and just start bee hopping. You need to know the essentials of bee hopping, which is uh, like when to, how to turn around, how to, uh, press A and W and D, and there's several tutorials out there. So you need to know the basics of B hopping. This is, this macro is just to, uh, make sure or get rid of that, that, um, scroll wheel aspect because that makes you lose a lot of control and uh like you have to keep scrolling your mouse it makes it a lot harder so this is just to take the the jumping aspect but you still need to move around and press and make the use of a w and d uh on your own because like you can't really automate that because the script will never know where you're trying to go so like if you're trying to turn left or if you're trying to turn right that you need to learn by yourself so I did a lot of testing. This is the best uh, setup I found. Obviously, it's not going to be perfect, but this is the best I could get for right now. Um, you can you can test it out for yourself. Uh, you can sometimes you can go for a really long time, just be hopping and continue your speed. Sometimes it just gets blocked uh, after like two or three uh, bunny hops, but you can just always start start it again. All right, guys, so let me show you how to make the macro in Logitech G Hub. So go ahead and open your Logitech G Hub. Uh, you'll see this screen. Uh, select the mouse or keyboard, whichever one you have. Go inside. Uh, click on the macros tab right here. So if, as you can see, I have the macro right here. If you already know how to make it, you can just copy it and make it yourself. But I'm going to show you how to make it from scratch. So go back. Uh, we're going to hit create new macro. Just call it CSGO B Hop 2. And then we're going to select this option that says repeat while holding. Select that. Uh, we're going to go over here, hit start now, hit record keystrokes, and we're going to press space four times. One, two, three, four. And we're going to hit stop recording. Now we can come up here and uh, check this option right here and uncheck that option right there. So now we can see all the delays and stuff. So the first thing you want to do is click on the first space and delete that. Click on this uh, delay, delete that and click on this space and delete that. So now uh, you have you have three spaces, but what we wanted, uh, we did four spaces because we wanted a delay before these. So there I didn't see any option to just add only a delay. So I had to do it this way. So uh, over here. You're going to uh, edit the first delay and make it 15, 15 milliseconds. The second delay will be 14. Third will be 15. Then 14 again. Then 15. And lastly, 14 again. So this is your macro. So you can go ahead and hit save. So now to uh, put this on your mouse, uh, we have this macro right here that we just made CSGO B Hop 2. Uh, go to whichever button you want. I like it on the side buttons. Uh, as you can see, I have the old macro on these two keys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this one on here. You can drag it on any key. I just like it on both of these. Uh, this is not my main mouse anyways. I use a Razer mouse. Uh, this is just for to make tutorials for Logitech mouses as well. So once you drag these to whatever key you want, you should be good to go. So I had about two to three hours of test time uh, with this macro because I had to test like like 50 or 60 different types of delays and different types of macros. So because I don't play this game anymore, CSGO, but I had to get back to it just to make the macro uh, for the past few weeks. Uh, but mainly uh, I did notice this, that the more you use the macro, 
the better you get at it. Uh, so there is uh, a little bit of skill aspect to it. Uh, you know, like, uh, you know, like, like when you fail the first jump, you know exactly when you fail it and then you just go again. So, uh, like the more you start using the macro, uh, you're going to get better at it. So you can try this for yourself, but, uh, yeah, that's about it. So obviously, uh, I'm, I, I'm expecting people to complain that this doesn't work as good, but you guys got to understand this is the best we have right now. Leave your comments, uh, in, in, uh, in the comment section, uh, leave your requests in the comment section. Uh, I always reply to them because the notifications come straight to my phone. Uh, and I try to reply as uh, quick as possible. And if you have any requests, I know someone requested a few, um, days ago and, uh, I was, I wasn't doing anything. So I quickly made him a, the script that he requested. So if you guys want any specific requests, just put them in the comments and, uh, when, whenever I'm free, I'll get to them. Other than that, thanks for watching. And I hope you guys have a good day. Where are you?